Shalom family trendsetter. I'm driving so you will hear some noise in the background. Now in this video, I want to first welcome the new subscriber who have subscribed to my channel. And of course to my old subscribers, I want to say special shalom to y'all. Now for those of you who don't know me, and many of y'all don't, let me introduce myself to y'all. I go by the name Transetta. Okay, now I'm a professed Hebrew Israelite because I have pretty much did research on who we are as a people. And I said we, including yourself, a lot of y'all are distracted with everyday lives, not realizing that we are the chosen, the people of the Bible, the prom the, you know, the, the people that was given the promise. Okay? In other words, if you believe the Bible or you subscribe or you even read the Bible, it states that the Mosai had a chosen set of people that he actually chose. In other words, a group of people that he chose. And the reason why he chose these people because these particular people, which is our ancestors at the time, were a group of people who acknowledged only one God. Okay, we didn't bring any other gods before this one God. A lot of y'all don't understand that there are many gods out there. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Most High said in the Bible not to put any other gods before him. If there wasn't other gods, then he wouldn't have said that. And a lot of y'all are worshiping the white man's God. Now, I know I do have a lot of white subscribers on this channel as well. I'm going I'm to rephrase that. So-called white subscribers because y'all really not white. Y'all different shades of red. Y'all pale. Okay? And I'm not going to try to, uh, how would you say, uh, generalize or cat categorize all so-called white people as being wicked but for the most part a lot of y'all are descendant of wicked ancestors all right and you know the history behind it y'all y'all ancestors were slave masters y'all gave us a religion called christianity y'all gave us a religion called islam and buddhism in other words all religion or a construct to control us family see a lot of y'all don't understand that so what they have done, family, they pretty much have given us a religion that states that we have to obey our master, turn the other cheek, love your enemy. And if you was to read the Bible, the Old Testament, it clearly states that, you know, an eye for an eye, a life for a life. So which means that the Old Testament, God, if you will, tell us that we are not to love our enemy how can you love your enemy now as far as your enemy within your nation of course you're supposed to love your nation and if you one of your brothers offend you it now becomes your enemy you have you are supposed to work it out break bread sit down and, and discuss and talk about it death should be the last thing that you want to cast upon your, your you know your, your enemy within your nation but the enemy of another nation however you're not supposed to love that motherfucker you're not supposed to try to even reason with them because they're your enemy it's almost like a mongoose and a snake now clearly you can see that there are two distinct animals right if you will one is an animal and the other is what you refer to I guess as a serpent so that would be like in a reptilian family and I guarantee you, a mongoose and a snake are not going to love one another because they're mortal enemies. A mongoose look at a snake as food. And a fucking snake look at the mongoose as his adversary, as his enemy. So it's the same way how if someone I know is my enemy, right? For example, not to be offensive to anybody, but if I know... The so-called white man, which is ruling this world right now, because the Bible says the earth has been handed over to the hands of the wicked. And if I know that the so-called white man is wicked, why would I love that individual? Now, there are a lot of decent white folks that I would actually say are not, you know, on that, in that category, so to speak. Because, you know, you have a lot of niggas, black people, believe it or not, probably wicked than some of the white folks. Because they look just like you, but yet still they're, they're willing to take your life over a couple of dollars. So for me, that's more wicked. See, I can understand a white man doing that to us. And, and we would be like, okay, well, you know, we, he is our enemy and shit. He's totally different from us. I can understand that happening. 
But when you have somebody that looks just like you, deceive you, just like almost like the Nipsey Hussle situation. Now, according to the media, according to what's being reported, right? They're saying that Eric Holder is the shooter. Now, in this country, they say you're innocent until proven guilty. But in reality, you're you're actually guilty until proven innocent in this motherfucker as far as black people is concerned anyway so let's say if eric holder is the so-called shooter that would mean eric holder is actually wickeder than a so-called white man because guess what if if he's actually a soul let's say a, a maverick then right He's he's a, he's one of those individuals that just say I'm gonna do this shit on my own. I'm I'm the one that's gonna take Nipsey out because I don't like him for whatever reason. Let's say he wasn't put up to it. Let's say the government is not involved. Let's say there's not a conspiracy. Let's say there's no other, you know, members. Let's just put it that way. Members that's involved. He's wicked as fuck because he's gonna take down a brother that's actually doing a lot for the community. In other words, he's selfish. So he's not thinking about this man's family, this man's kid. I'm just saying, if he's a lone wolf, if he's the only one that's involved, which I really, really don't believe that shit, but if he's a, a lone wolf, like he did the shit on his own, then he's more wicked than a so-called white man because Nipsey was doing a lot for the community. If you felt some type of way like, okay, he disrespected you, you have to look at the bigger picture and say, well, you know what? I'm gonna just leave this nigga alone. I, fuck, fuck Nipsey. You know what I mean? But he went as far as to take this man's life and try to take others with him. If he was a lone wolf. Because again, I do not believe he was a lone wolf. A lone wolf like him would have never had the opportunity to even get represented by, and check this out family, by a high power attorney. Because now you have an, a, 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 a prosecutor now turn attorney is going to defend this dude where did he get the money from to because to, to, remember this dude is trying to pretty much get get what what's the, what's the name nipsey to try to make some money how the fuck you gonna get money to get a high power defense attorney like this dude to represent you you got to think about it family so i guess what i'm saying is this right me i don't love my enemy i hate my enemy and even if my enemy look like me, if you really are my enemy and I can't break bread with you and make, and let's say work out our differences, make peace with you, then you are my enemy. Then I can't love you. I have to distance myself from you. As a matter of fact, I'm always going to be on, a, 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 I would say not necessarily just a defense, but I'm going to be on the offense when it comes to you because I know that you're one not to be trusted with. You know what I'm saying? Or you're not one to be trusted. So I guess what I'm saying in closing family that, you know, we have to start paying attention to what's really going on. Everything that we hear and see on the news is fake news, just like your president, Donald Trump, your commander, thief said, you know what I'm saying? Because I really believe that shit because they give you what they want you to believe. But you always have to always try to peel away the onion layers to get to the meat and gravy of things. You can't just accept everything, even with me, what I say. If I say something and you don't agree with it, that means it's time for your ass to go out there and do your due diligence to do your own independent research. You know what I'm saying? In Christianity, I really believe y'all really need to uh, investigate that particular religion. You know what I'm saying? Do your research on that religion because when you find out that Christianity is not what you think he is, what, what you think it is, or, or, or Jesus, or God, you know what I'm saying? Because God is actually Satan. That word God is Satan. That's a title. And Jesus, believe it or not, is not who you think he is. He's the bright and morning star, and, and Lucifer is the day star. But think about what I'm saying, and with that, I say shalom.